This lesson is about some basic concepts of NetBeans editor. I presume you have already installed the Java standard edition together with the NetBeans. Otherwise, you must do that before you can see this video. So we go straight to program files or programmer in Danish. Choose NetBeans. Click here. When you click, you will see that the NetBeans starts to opening up. It actually takes some time, so I have cheated a little bit and make it ready for you for this video. There are some facilities here. New project, sounds interesting for us. Run, run a project, compile, run file, all this is what we're going to do. So back here, create a new project. Here we choose the Java application. Of course, there are other possibilities, but for the moment, this is of interest for us. We have to choose a name. I choose introduction. This is not a name of a class. This is a name of the project. Now, the location you can go in here and... Oh, sorry. For the location, you can go in here and browse. But uh, I have already predefined that my project is going to lie in solutions under the folder software construction. You are welcome to choose differently. We can also see it creates automatically a main class down here. Click on finish. So what NetBeans now did was that it created a project introduction. And we can see there's a package inside here, name, nickname is introduction, with small i, notice that. And we can see that it's because here we have the package introduction here. And we can see there's a class main right away here. Now, of course, we want to see what can this class do for us. Probably absolute nothing. We start to compile the class in order to see if there are any bugs inside. And it was built successfully. What NetBeans now did here was that inside this folder, it created some more folders here, and here, and here, and here. These folders we will look into in a minute. There were no errors, so let's try to run it. Shift F6, remember that next time. And it was run and built successfully. But of course, it didn't do anything at all. But we can put in some action here. Let's print out something, the classic stuff. And this, of course, is the hello world. Let's make it a Java world like this. Now notice there's a little red spot here. That means it expects something. NetBeans is very, very helpful for making better programs fast because it tells a lot about the errors. Missing a semicolon. Now let's try to run it. So we choose the Shift F6 this time. Et voila. It has actually done something down here. It has simply printed out Hello World. And that is what we wanted it to do. Let's go back and look a little bit here. We can see, we can only see actually one file, the main.java. It could be interesting to see what else NetBean has created. So you open the Windows Explorer, find your where you put the project. I put it here. And here we have the introduction. And inside that, it made some more folders. And we can see that the Java file is actually inside here. SRC stands for source files. And then there are the class files. They're inside this one. And we can see there's a main Java class here. Now, if you try to open that, you will probably see a lot of 
very strange things, so I don't advise you to do that. Right, let's close this one down. So that is all into it for this first introduction to NetBeans. Next step, next step would of course to be to go and see the GUI, because that is why we actually would like to look at NetBeans.